Um, hello all. In this video, we will see how to implement logistic regression in Excel. So basically, we will try to find out the regression coefficients V0 and V1 for logistic regression. Okay, so to start with, we have our data set here, uh, which is a dummy data set. We have created this. Uh, it has got two columns. One is the CET score. Uh, which will be our predictor variable or independent variable and the next column is the response variable which is the admitted column. So CET, uh, let us say it is a common entrance test score and based on this score uh, it will be decided whether the candidate or a student will be admitted to a university. So if it is he is admitted uh, or he or she is admitted uh, uh, this will admitted column will have one or else the admitted column will have zero. Okay, so our job will be to predict given the CET score whether he will be admitted, yes or not admitted, no. Okay, so let us start. So to start with, we will first find out the linear regression coefficients. So to find out the linear regression coefficients in the data tab, you should have this data analysis uh, pack. Okay, so if this is not there, if this add-in is not there, then you need to add this in through files options. Okay, we have it here. So let us start. Uh, so you go to the data analysis tab and select regression as your tool. Okay, it will ask you for the Y range and X range. So let us give our uh, Y range here. So our Y range is this. This is our y range and we will also give our x range okay and uh, it will be printed in a new sheet so we have got this output in the new sheet now we are just going to select this intercept and x variable coefficients from here okay so i'll just uh, copy it and paste it here at the top. So I'll take the transpose of it and paste it. So I've pasted it. So here, this coefficient which I have, let me just increase the font. Okay. So this uh, coefficient which I have here will be my beta naught and this will be my beta 1 but it is for the linear regression, for the linear, linear uh, regression, okay. So, let me just wrap it, text it, okay. So, now I will find out the equation for uh, linear regression. So, linear regression score, let me say y. So, y is, e is equal to beta naught plus beta 1 into x. So, I will use that equation here. So, y is equal to beta naught. Beta naught is this plus beta 1 times x is my CET score. So, let me take it here. Okay. I will put this value as x here. CET score is nothing but my x. Okay. So, now you need to pull this formula down. But before you pull it down for all the cells here, you need to place an anchor here so that this A2 and B2 values do not change. So I am putting an anchor here. Okay, so it's done. And you put pull the formula down, all the way down for all the values that we have here. So we have around 160 values or data points in this data set okay so after you have found out this now we need to find out the we need to find out the probability okay so now probability for linear regression you can get it uh, by using the formula p is equal to e raised to y divided by 1 plus e raised to y that is how we get probability for uh, logistic regression so let me write probability which I call it as P, that will be equal to E raised to, that is EXP of Y 
divided by 1 plus exp that is exponent exponential of okay exp of y close the brackets enter so i have calculated the probability this is my probability let us pull it down all the way So I'll pull this down. Right. Now I need to find out likelihood. So I will use if. If I have 1 in the admitted column, my probability would be P. Else my probability would be 1 minus 1 minus p which is this value so that is how i get my likelihood column okay so let me just pull the likelihood column down as well now for maximum likelihood we need to have or we need to take the products of all these probabilities and we need to set these coefficients b0 and b1 such that this product is maximum but uh, instead of taking product let us take sum of all the likelihoods. So we will take log likelihood here. Okay. So log likelihood will be simply log of likelihood and I pull it all the way down here. Right. Now I want to set these variables beta naught and beta 1 such that sum of this log likelihood is maximum, right? So for that, let us calculate the sum of log likelihood, but I will take the sum of only first 26 values. The reason is that I have used only 80% of the data in my training set. So only 126 variables, which is 80% of 160, I will be taking as my training set. Okay, so I will select only 126 rows here and I need to take a sum of it. So it is still 131, F131. So let me just take the sum here equal to sum from this value to F131. which is minus 30.9. Now using the solver, I will set B0 and B1 such that this log likelihood is maximum. So let us go to the data tab here once again. And in the data tab, you have this solver. So you want to set objective for what? You want to set objective for this F1 cell. That is, this has to be maximum, right? And by changing, so it is max is selected here. You want max for this cell. Okay. By changing what? By changing these two cells here. Okay. And unconstrained variables, non-negative. No, we can have negative or positive both. And you will solve it. It will ask if you want to keep the solver solution. So you say, okay. And you have got now the, if you uh, remember, the sum of log likelihood was minus 30, okay? And now we have got it as minus 6. That means this is the maximum value of sum of log likelihood. And for this maximum value, we have tuned our B0 and B1 as minus 65.48 to 428 and 0.183. Now, if you compare this with your Python output, which is there in my tutorial, if you compare it, these two coefficients, beta naught and beta 1 that we have obtained here are almost the same. All right. Uh, thank you very much. And I hope you have understood how to implement uh, logistic regression and how to rather how to obtain the coefficients uh, beta naught and beta 1 in logistic regression. So thank you for listening.